What's up guys? Why are you reading my name here? I've had a slight problem with, uh, well, my computer actually. I lost all of my recorded footage and save data for dust and so I had to start over. Now I've gone through and I've gotten back pretty close to where I think I was uh, given the videos I've posted and everything. So I should be relatively in about the same spot. So I've already done Archer's Pass and all that so I'm gonna go over here to uh, this Ivy Dale Glen. I uh, picked up a quest for that and so I'm gonna go hit this up and see what we can do. Alright. Um, came here earlier and actually there's were a bunch of bloms floating around. Those guys. And Oh god. Why does everything explode? Jeez Louise. Ugh. So, that's pretty annoying. Constantly have to watch where I walk and just can't run. Oh my god. Oh god. So, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh, oh shit. So, just launch out the energy balls, I guess. I can't imagine how boring that is to watch, just me spamming energy blast at people. But, other than um, the ma- oh god. The massive loss of my data, um, things have been going good. Uh, how about you all? That was kind of scary. Ooh, they're gonna talk. Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me. Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Seriously? For going after that jerk's laundry? For going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Alright, for anybody who doesn't remember, in the first episode we picked up a quest from a little girl. Uh, she said her brother was missing. Well, we go talk to this really rude guy who's smoking a pipe and he's like, well, I had him go do my laundry. And uh, <clears throat> dust is all you sent him out there to do your laundry with all these monsters around. Really, dude? And the guy's like, well, yeah. What are you, stupid? So, oh, God. Ow, that fracking hurt like hell. Is something wrong? <laughs> She's been silenced, Dust. While in this state, she would be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately, the effect is only temporary and will fade over time. You mean Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's terrible. Really awful. Not sure how I'll get by. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Um, that was relatively amusing. Anyway, so we jump out here to uh, save the quit. Save the kid. Because he's doing this dude's laundry. I really hope he got paid well for, you know, coming out here to do laundry while giant golems are trying to crush people. Seems like you should get hazard pay. What? What are you hitting me with? Alright. Hey, that really does seem like the thing you should get bonus pay for. 
Hey, you're gonna go do my laundry? Well, there's some giant golems, so, you know, have a little bit extra. <laughs> well? Well, here's where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. <laughs> you are positively evil, Fidget. But... <laughs> Boo! Boo, I say! You're not fun, Dust. Not fun at all. <laughs> as fun as that would have been, I really don't think it would be appropriate for the hero to, uh... Go and poison the guy's laundry just because he's a douche. Ooh, made it. Just in time. Barely. Right. Oh god. Ow. Help. I'm hurt. So, I'm just gonna stand here until I'm not on fire anymore. Spam some health items. Jeez. Guys hurt. Oh god. Well, seems like the easiest way to trigger them is just to walk at them and then dodge. Like that. Okay, so <clears throat> just gonna run through here and try not to suck any harder than I already am. Unfortunately, I'm largely failing at the whole not sucking thing. Oh, wow. Well. Seems we're back out. So, we did that. Yay! Alright, go return this dude's laundry. You're kind of a jerk, though. Like, I really wanted to use the poison ivy. I just... I don't know. Seems like it's not my place to punish people for being douchebags. I'm supposed to be the hero of the game. Alright, here's your laundry jerk. Alright, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous! So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient's type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he alright? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. <laughs> Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. <laughs> Matters, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm gonna talk to this guy again. with the Philosopher King himself. Why don't you bother Augustine or some other such buffoon? Uh, you don't need to ask me twice. We're leaving. Oh. I wanted to just harass the guy a little bit more. Oh, oh well. Whatever, let's go check on the kid. He's, like, up here in these rafter thingies, I think. There's that ginger chick. 
who's all depressed and mopey for no reason. Or at least no reason we know of yet. Anyway. And, uh, yay, we found him. Oh, hello again. Thank you so much for helping me before. You're welcome, Corbin. Just be a little smarter next time, alright? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <sighs> yes, Fidget. Like the laundry. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I... You're so strong? I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000-hit combo. <laughs> of course he wouldn't. He could do it in his sleep. Sleep combo! Fidget, calm down! Whoa! Do you really think you could do it? A 1,000-hit combo? Sure, why not? Oh, wow, awesome! Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, This one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. <sighs> That's I so much nerd. I you could do a 1,000 hit combo. I think the closest I've ever come is I got like a 600 combo once. And that was just a mass of enemies and I was energy blasting everything everywhere. Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. Aww. I feel gypped. Not gonna lie. Alright. Where to, everybody? Uh, Sanctuary is, like, supposed to be our home base. I don't really want to go back there, so I guess it's Abedee's Forest. I love the music in this game, it's just so psyched out, like, gets you going. And save spot off the top, that just kind of makes me nervous, so I'm going to go ahead and use this manually. <clears throat> Oops, wrong button. There we go. Just, uh... Makes me a little bit nervous when the first thing you see entering a little map zone is, Hey, here's a safe spot. You might want to use this. Come here. Oh, he died. <laughs> Go. Get down here. Rude. He runs away in the middle of a fight. Well, you know, other than that guy. Treasure chest, and I have no keys. Actually, trying to get a 1,000 hit combo, it seems like it would be a really good idea to have low damage, so you can just hit the same guy over and over and over and over again. I don't really want to go low damage in this game, though, because I don't want to get nuked out of existence by whatever bad guy they throw at me. Oh, the combo timed out right before I got him. That sucked so hard. Ooh, Ooh a pant. Oh god. Stop getting behind me. It's rude. Alright. See? They just die so fast. <laughs> so I don't actually have any keys. Why did I come all the way over here? Oh, 
If I ever get enough money, I think I might just buy keys from the shop guy. Oh gosh, don't fall. I am here to serve. Give me a hamburger. What? Child? What? Okay, pork with rice wrapped in a fresh seat. So. It's just a wrap of some sort? What the hell is a chaldabagi? Boogie. What? I don't know. Anyway. How much is a key? Holy crap. Keys are expensive. Aww. I don't know if I should sell this and just wait for him to restock it or what. Mm. I'm gonna sell one of these. Crud. Really have to hate to come back and rebuy all this. I'm just saying. Your transaction is most approved. Oh. Thank you. Go ahead and jump out of that. What? Stop jumping over me. Stop. Are you serious? Screw you, dude. Ah. He just jumps through my sword. He's like, oh, I'm jumping over you. Well, that was fun. What was down here? Oh, gosh. I'm just sort of working my way down into this hole for no reason. I have no idea where I'm going, but there's a save point, so I want to go back and see what I missed. If I've ever learned anything from playing video games, it's that a save point always means shit's about to hit the fan. That was a horrible, uh, horrible fight, actually. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Whatever. I don't guess I missed anything too important. If I did, I'll just have to come back to it later, so it's not like it'll be gone forever. Yay, back to- oh god. Screw that, dude. Lasers for days. Ooh, metal. Oh, I love this. Finally, we're out of those caverns. Oh, what's the matter? Afraid of the dark? Ha! I laugh at the dark. Actually, I'm afraid of heights. Wait, heights? How is that possible? You fly all the time, everywhere. Oh, do I? I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. That's a nice way to say it. Interesting. I like that. Interesting. Alright. Okay, so apparently, um, when you level up, 
you can only go four higher than your lowest stability. So that happened. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and get some defense. Keep myself a little bit in the game so that I can level up later. If I need to higher attack power or whatever. We'll do that. I have a feeling there were supposed to be aerial enemies up there. They were not there. Ah. <laughs> uh, sucks. Ow! That was crap. Screw you guys. I can't get in there and fight you, but screw you. Ah, hello again, my friend. Damn, that hurt. I don't really want to pay 300 for some healing items, so... Dang. Health is expensive in this game. Um, I don't really have anything Your to do with that either. Is most All right. What? Oh, that's a slippery vine thing. Money. I'm back here. Alright. So I'm just poking around, hitting everything. Oh god. Oh, that was a heck of a combo. That was kind of cool. Alright. So... The reason I didn't uh, choose to put the Poison Ivy in that guy's laundry, if anybody is wondering, is earlier he had like his little moment when he's talking to this girl. He's like, oh, she could have showed some gratitude. And then he's like, oh, I don't know why I said that. That was so rude. I kind of have the feeling that sort of assholistic things that I end up doing are going to come back and maybe have an effect. That seems to be really popular in games nowadays. And I know this was made just by one guy by himself, but that doesn't mean he didn't like that trend of people having an effect on the game. Because I love that trend myself. I love being a player, going into a game, and what I do actually matters. It's, uh... It's really nice to feel like you're actually doing something. I mean, I know I'm playing a game and it's all fictitious, but it's really nice to feel like what I'm doing has some sort of an importance in this fictional world. Because there are some games you can play and it really just feels like, you know what? You're not so much necessary as you are a plot device. But having my actions affect it like it does in a lot of games nowadays, it feels like I am a necessary person. Still just a plot device, but it's really the feeling that your actions can make or break the game, I guess. Holy crud. They're everywhere! Stop shooting at me! Oh wait, I'm supposed to look for that thing. The blue... The... Ah. Alright. Eh. 
There we go. Ooh, shiny stuff. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Haley, is that you? Where are you calling from? From beyond the grave! <laughs> <laughs> Would you calm down? I'm at home with Maddie. I see you found my dad's lost receiver. Yeah, and it seems to be working. That's great. Now, if you ever need to craft an item, you can do it directly from your inventory. Now, Dust, this doesn't mean I don't want you coming up to visit me in person. But at least I can keep an eye on you and help you out whenever you need me. Sure, Haley. I really appreciate the help. Oh, I think I just got flirted with a little bit. Actually, I'm reasonably certain I just got flirted with a little bit. Oh god. It'd be really cool if I could drop that on them. Oh, snipes. Why do they always jump on my face? This is not wrestling. You don't need to come off the top rope or anything. But stop jumping on me. I am not Goomba. You are not an Italian plumber. Uh, ow. So that kind of hurt, actually. Right. So, I'm doing the math in my head, and I need about 12,000 of these little coins in order to get some keys again. But I haven't found really any keys for a while except for apparently the one that I just randomly have in my inventory that I don't remember picking up that's awesome so, cool I guess ooh what's a teleport stone do a uh, single use stone teleports user from a save monument to the world map eh. Not, not really feeling that. I mean, maybe if it was like multi-use, it would be cool. But single-use just doesn't really do anything for me. I mean, maybe if I'm just really tired of trying to do just some particular level, it might be useful. But honestly, I think I'd just rather walk out. We must be getting close. Earn the money in order. Look. We may still be able to save the others. Let's hurry. What? There were two guys up there a second ago. That was kind of cool, but completely unintended. Wait, never mind. All planned. That's what it was. It was all planned. Yeah, it wasn't. <clears throat> I hit the wrong button and ended up spinning across the screen. Looked really cool. Not planned. Uh, words can barely be man out. Travel far to the north away from this place. In the highest peaks of the Blackmore Mountains. Fate to soul carrying a red crystal. Okay, so I'm gonna need a red crystal thingy. Um, turns potency of it. Max health. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, fidget damage going here. Whoop! Crap! God, I suck at this. I really suck at this. Jump! Oh! 
What? Okay. Kind of cool. I got really, really high up there. So. Kind of wish I had been able to maintain that a little bit longer. It's really cool flying over everything. Oh, I hit the edge of the screen, no wonder. Oh, I wanted to take that with me to the boss. Oh, hi. This was done recently. We don't have time to wait for it to die out. There's got to be another way around. Um. Uh oh. There we go. That was awkward. Uh, fire and dust. We've lost 10 guards. This monster already keeps bombarding us with those green flames. They almost seem to have a mind of their own. But then a sudden gust of wind blasted through the village and the flames disappeared. It stopped the creature's attack for but a moment. Only we could harness the power of a storm. Okay, so intent, I guess, right? What? Really? Whoa! Sorry, my keyboard lagged out there. Hit the jump button and nothing happened. I can hear the water rushing below. <laughs> Who needs subtle? Bring it on. Whoa! Bag of stuff. Oh, he hit me. He hit me before the balls hit him. Cleared all that out. That was nice. There we go. Probably gonna need that help though. Oh, God, he's big. Why are they all so big? Jeez. Hmm. Yep, gonna save. <laughs> you ever get that sense of impending video game doom? Where you know you're about to go into uh, something stupid? Again, my... Yeah, I've got that feeling. Um, 
I could use some more uh, health items, but I don't really want to pay six, seven hundred gold coin thingies for, well, any of it actually. sell this stuff. Just sell one of each and end up having to buy them all back, but it's better than not getting them cataloged, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I say that and it just doesn't really feel like the right thing to do, but I guess that's because in most games when you sell something, the shop doesn't restock it, doesn't catalog it, and then sell you the same thing later. And the prices aren't really all that bad. Uh, I really don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one... What is it, Ara? Such... hatred. Be careful, Dust. Okie dokie. Um, I feel like there should be some dramatic music here. Uh, here we go. So... You've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people! You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So... You don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. Okay. That seems to have been slightly overdramatic. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And it's like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here. Puppet, as I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious! Now die! Take really this. rather not! Well, boom, I guess. I don't really know if boom is the most appropriate word than dealing with, uh... The lights of Elysium yeah. shine Fire guy. upon me. But can they reach the darkness within you? What are you talking about? Not guilt, 
It is loss. After all you've done to my kind, you still think only of yourself. Perhaps that is for the best. Your leader, Gaius, he led you and your fellow assassins into battle. Assassins? He even murdered his own kind, our greatest allies amongst the warm bloods. But one escaped. She was the only one I would dare spare in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? <sighs> Who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Okay. We did it! He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius. Don't give in. Dust, during the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. Hmm. This seems interesting. Let's see what it can do. Oh! I like... I like that a lot. Oh, yes, I did. Hmm. More monsters. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no please in some people. <laughs> it was a valiant effort, Fidget. <laughs> Well, okie dokie then. <laughs> I kind of like the new fire from the sky. A little... It seems like it might be a little overpowered, but the fact that it doesn't cover the entire screen kind of nerfs the OP, I guess. So, maybe it's balanced. this way I guess whoa that looks fun alright <clears throat> come here let me hit you Collect all my stupid loot stuff. Far to the north. I really wish I had one of those big announcer voices. Meanwhile, far to the north. But it just doesn't work for Sir, me. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but 
But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? So, uh... Okay. Uh, we defeated the leader of the monsters, strange creature named Fuse, but doing so raised more questions than answers. Report back to the mayor. Alright, we're gonna report back to the mayor. Oh, here he is. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh, no. That could only be Denham Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor. Called himself... Fuse. Hmm. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about views, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! All right. That's probably what we're going to do next time. Uh, for now, I'm going to save out, close this episode, and I guess I will see you all next time, alright? Later, guys. <laughs>